Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today I am sharing with you my office space. So in all of my videos, I'm always facing the opposite direction and that over on the other side is where I have my, you know, my craft table and all my supplies and that kind of thing. Well today I'm sharing with you my little office space. So my desk and my computer and my glasses. I have reading glasses now. <laughs> um, I don't think I've worn those on camera yet. So that's probably coming soon. I've only had them for a few weeks. Okay, so, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna decorate that really bland wall behind my desk. I am tired of looking at it in its blandness. So we are going to use the Cricut Joy and Smart Vinyl, the Continuous Cut Smart Vinyl, and I'm gonna show you how to do all that, and we're gonna put a design on that wall. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. I'll show you what we're gonna make, and then we'll go over to the craft table and I'll show you how to pull it all together. Now, if you have a explorer or a maker, you can absolutely do this project as well. Um, you just won't be able to use the continuous cut vinyl. You would just use, you know, normal um, 12 by 24 or 12 by 12 vinyl and it would apply the same way. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and this is my home page. Um, and so what you would do is go in and create a new project. So I'm gonna take you into the one that I've already created. So this is was a blank canvas. All I did was I went into images, and I chose some images that I thought would work well for my space. I'm a crafter by trade, so I thought scissors would be really fun. So whatever it is that you want to create a pattern out of um, you can go into images Cricut has thousands literally thousands and right now with everything going on um, they have released um, tons I want to say thousands they've released a lot of additional free cut images um, so that we can craft with them and so um, hop into images and search you know if you're into cats I don't know um, you could search different cat shapes I, all I suggest is that you stick with something that is a fairly simple shape because it is a bit of a process um, and so the sim more simple you go the quicker it's going to go okay so I went in and I chose five different um, scissor shapes and I checked all of them um, I resized a couple I think to make sure that they would cut on the joy they just can't be greater than four inches and these all fall well within the size okay so the next thing that you want to do is once you have these together just go ahead and select make it and um, if they were different colors it's going to ask you which you want to do without a mat on a mat on the card we are using smart material so we're going to go without a mat what I was saying though is that you would just change them all to the same color so you only have the one mat. Okay, we're gonna move this over. And now that it's here, what I wanna do is I, I like to save my material. I want to get as many cuts um, on the sheet as I possibly can. So I'm just gonna take these and if you use this little toggle here, you can move them around so that you can maximize your space. Okay, so what was 15 inches, now by moving everything around, is eight. Fantastic. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and hit continue, and it's going to reduce the size of that mat from 15 to eight. Now obviously I'm going to need a lot more than 8 inches to do this wall, so you would, you know, um, do project copies and you would um, increase the number of copies that you're doing for this particular cut. Um, and we are using Smart Vinyl. So we'll select Smart Vinyl. Um, of course the Cricut Joy has the one blade and it's Smart Vinyl so you don't have to have a mat. And on your machine now you can load your uh, Smart Vinyl in. And remember, Joy doesn't have any buttons, so you're going to come back to your desktop or your mobile device to select Go. Okay, so here we are on the craft table, and this project does not require a lot of supplies. So I had my Smart Vinyl um, here at the house already, and I've been <laughs> kind of thinking about this project for a while. So I have 20 feet of Smart Vinyl, um, and I have my Cricut Joy 
and I have some transfer tape. I have my weeding tool. I have my scraper and a spatula in case I need that. And I do have my uh, knife, but I was just gonna use it to open up my packaging. Okay. And so the nice thing about uh, Smart Vinyl is you do not need a mat. Hmm, but you need a second to open up the package. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So I have, um, if, you, if you notice, it has edges on it, which is how it's going to read. And then on the back, it looks a lot like your normal vinyl um, with the grid. But this is such a simple product to use. So I'm gonna move some of this out of the way. And my machine is already blinking, and that's because we've already sent it to the machine. So I'm going to lay it down. Do you hear my machine just automatically read? that the smart vinyl was there and it's going to measure the vinyl. Um, and so it's gonna feed all of that in and all of it back out for however long your cut is. So this is super easy guys, like it doesn't get any easier than this. Now one thing to remember is that your Cricut Joy does not have any buttons, so you have to select go um, from your desktop or your mobile device or whatever it is you're using. Okay, we're gonna work with a small piece and go ahead and weed out our vinyl. I, everybody has their own way of doing it. I like to go in and get the small pieces out first. It's just me. Um, you do it whichever way you want, but make sure that you um, get out all the negative space. And this one is a little just gonna break that because it actually goes into the larger piece. And um, but once I'm done with this, and th see how easy, how easy it is to weed this. Once I'm done with this, we'll pull away all of the other negative space. And if you like to save little bitty portions of things, you can definitely do that with this. Just know with the smart vinyl, you won't be able to feed it back into the machine because you won't have um, you know the feeds on the side anymore. But you could use this on a normal mat. Um, and then use it with your joy. So you could cut out any, you know, small elements or small pieces in there that um, you didn't cut. I'm all about saving craft supplies. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do for mine is I'm going to cut out all the individual pieces because I wanna be able to um, place them wherever I want them to be. And I wanna be able to use transfer tape to put them on. So I'm just gonna cut these out and then I will cut out a piece of transfer tape that's probably as large as the biggest one. And then I'll just use that transfer tape over and over again until it doesn't work anymore. And then I'll cut out another piece of transfer tape. Um, some people are like, oh, you can't use transfer tape over and over again. Of course you can, of course you can. So I just use it until it's not tacky anymore. And I'll be honest with you, I get a lot of placement. I get a lot of placement out of it. And one of the reasons I chose this pattern too, guys, is because you can be sporadic with it and I don't have to measure as much as I would, you know, with like the same element a bunch of times because, well, actually I don't have to measure at all because I'm gonna eyeball it and put these where I think that they should go and kind of make it my own. So I didn't wanna break out a level and all that kind of thing. I love stripes, you guys know I do. I love stripes and I love polka dots and things like that, but that would just be too difficult um, to do, or at least it would try my patience very much, so. <laughs> so a little piece of transfer tape, and I have a large sheet of transfer tape. You can buy it on a roll. Um, they sell it specifically for the joy, so it's like, um, you know, four inches wide. But I just cut out my piece of transfer tape, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this back, and I'm going to place it on my pair of scissors and I'm going to put it down with my fingers and you can always, always, always use your scraping tool um, if you're you know, nervous that it's not picking it up as well. 
Um, and you can use this or a larger piece of this, especially if you've used more of the transfer tape, save this because it will save your surface if you don't want your transfer tape, you know, attaching itself to your surface. And then you just start working with it and there it goes. Some of these um, may require you to put a little bit of effort into getting it off onto the transfer tape. Another reason, in my opinion, to go with a simple design because once you sort of get those corners going, there you go. Oh, and I eek. There we go. And so now it's on the transfer tape and it's ready to apply to the wall. Okay, so now we have our scissors on our transfer tape. And so I have somewhat of a grid going on. Um, we have five different designs of scissors. And so I've been placing them um, arbitrarily in different angles, but somewhat together. So I have sets of five. And I'm just gonna take this one and we're each um, grouping it somewhat of a grid, not perfect, no measuring tape, but it's somewhat of a grid. So this one I'm going to place here and you're just going to apply that with your fingers if you do a simple cut um, your fingers will work or you could break out your scraping tool and then once the scissors are on the wall what you want to do is you want to grab the edge of that transfer tape and peel at an angle always peel at an angle and it's that easy enjoyed that craft as much as I did ring that bell hit that subscribe button and join back here every week for new videos and make sure you hop down in the description below if you would like to uh, check out the Cricut Joy and all the materials that we use today I will see you guys next time